Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little pants, leggings, or trousers for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. I made them to match the little cardigan hoodie that I showed you already in my channel. If you click the little lamb next to my channel name, it'll take you to my main channel. There you will find the tutorial for the hoodie and the matching baby blanket. I will also leave the link to those tutorials in the information box below, along with the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer written pattern. Thank you so much for your support. Now, to make this little set, this is the yarn that I used. It's Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabret. Now, you can also use number three yarn or a ply. For the little pants, I used a total of 94 grams, 76 grams in pink, and 18 grams in white. Now, you can also make these little pants from a newborn size and up to 24 months. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave some standard size measurements so that you can make these little pants in any of those sizes using any yarn weight with any hook size. So be sure to check that out. Remember, the information box opens when you click the title of the video. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell so that YouTube can recommend my videos, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, to make these baby pants, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter hook, and today I'm using DK weight yarn. Now, you can use a ply or number three yarn, or you can even use any yarn weight with any hook size. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave some standard size measurements so that you can make these baby pants from a newborn size baby and up to 12 to 24 months, so be sure to check that out. Now, at the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and the colors that I'm going to use to make these baby pants and how much yarn yarn I used for the three to six month size. So here to begin, I have 84 chains. This chain here without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 43 centimeters, which is about 17 inches. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. Now, make sure that this chain here is in multiples of four. That's the important thing here, multiples of four for your base chain. Now, this chain here represents the waistband. So all I did was just go by the standard size measurements that I'm going to leave in the information box and based on that I did my chain for the waist for a three to six month size according to standard size measurements it needs to be about 16.5 inches which is about 42 centimeters now my chain here measures like I said 43 or 17 inches which is okay if I do four chains less it's going to be too short so here to begin make sure that your chain is not twisted and we're going to join to the first chain so like this so go back and make sure that your chain is not twisted now grab a loop here and make a slip stitch now we're joined to begin chain one and into this same stitch here make a half double crochet now half double crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do one half double crochet on each chain at the end of this row i'm going to be left with 84 half double crochets continue i will meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row i have 84 half double crochets to finish go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row, chain one. In this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into this first half double crochet, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Here's the first front post half double crochet. Now into the next, a back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet, into the next back post half double crochet this is all i'm going to do for this second row continue i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this second row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets my last stitch here is a back post half double crochet to finish go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for rows three and four we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row we're going to chain one Beginning into this first stitch where we joined, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next back post half double crochet. Into the next front post half double crochet. Back post half double crochet and so on. This is how you're going to continue for the third row all around. 
here at the end you're going to join to the beginning with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing for the fourth row i will meet you at the end of the fourth row i finished making the fourth row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop now in total i did three rows of front post and back post half double crochets plus the first row that we did of half double crochets i have four rows here for the waistband now here's where we finished so we're going to turn this like this from here on this is going to be the top of the pants and this here is going to be the rest of the pants we're going to work our way down so here to begin we're going to go into this space this is where i did my first chain that's where we joined so right next to it right there insert your hook i'm going to use this pink yarn here to work the pants now bring this loop through chain one now here I'm going to work half double crochets all around and I'm going to work these half double crochets between these half double crochets so right into these spaces here now one thing in this row I need to add an extra four half double crochets so there is no right or wrong way of adding these extra four half double crochets I'm going to do one right here the next one about here then another one here and another one here so the important thing here for this size is that we end with 88 half double crochets but if you're making it for any other size make sure it's multiples of four and when you divide that number by four you have an even number so here chain one beginning into this first space here make a half double crochet into the next or between the next two stitches here work a half double crochet between the next two a half double crochet and so on I'm going to continue like this and work half double crochets I'm going to show you here how you're going to make these increases so let's see I have two four six seven eight nine ten and now I'm going to go into the next space and make two half double crochets like this so now I have 12 and I'm going to continue again and I'm going to make another increase around here another one here and another one here so that you finish this row of half double crochets with 88 half double crochets continue finish this row I will meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets I have 88 half double crochets so now to finish this row go here into this first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now to continue we're going to start our pattern here the pattern that I'm going to use for these baby pants is the same one that I used here for this baby hoodie I already showed you this tutorial in the information box below I'll leave the link so we're going to use this stitch pattern here now one thing before we continue if you're making these baby pants any other size make sure that when you make this row of half double crochets it's in multiples of four and whatever number you have here that's in multiples of four make sure that you have an even number so for example i have 88 divided by 4 i have 22 that means that when i finish this next row that i'm going to show you i'm going to have 22 fans um, when i had 84 stitches I had 21 um, that's why I went ahead and added four extra stitches here so that now I have um, an even number of fans so 22 fans now this is so that when we divide the legs it's going to be easier to divide the legs we're going to have two fans here in the back and two fans here in the front so it makes it so much easier if that number is an even number so here to continue with this first row here we're going to chain three these three chains here counts as a double crochet now into this same stitch here make a double crochet chain one two double crochets now here's the first fan for this row now skip one two three and into the fourth half double crochet make a fan From here on these fans are going to consist of two double crochets one chain two double crochets again skip one two three and into the fourth make a fan and this is how we're going to continue here all around 
When I finish this row, I'm going to have 22 fans. I will meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of the second row. This is where I did this row of fans. Now to finish, go into the third chain here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row. Now at the end of this row, I have a total of 22 fans. So now we can continue with the third row. So turn here and here we have the first fan. We have these two double crochets into the first double crochet, make a slip stitch. Now into the second double crochet, work a front post slip stitch. Now chain three. And inside this chain space of this fan, make a V stitch. Now into the next double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Again, we have the next fan, work a front post double crochet into the second double crochet, make a V stitch inside the chain space. double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then front post, double crochet. And this is how you're going to work each one of these fans. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Now here we have the first fan. We're going to make three slip stitches. Beginning on top of the first double crochet of this fan, make a slip stitch into the second double crochet, make a slip stitch, and inside the chain space, make a slip stitch. Now, chain three. These three chains counts as a double crochet, and into this space here, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. So in this row, we're going to make fans. Again, into the chain space of the next fan, make a fan. There. And then repeat the same thing into each one of the chain spaces of each fan. From here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat. So continue, finish this fourth row, and then I'll meet you here at the end to once again show you how to finish the row and then start the next row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where I did fans. I have 22 fans. To finish, go into the third chain here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fourth row. Now, as I mentioned from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat. This row of fans and the row where we do front post double crochet. So to start you off on the fifth row, we're going to turn. Now, beginning into this first double crochet of this fan, make a slip stitch. Now into the second double crochet, work a front post slip stitch. And now chain three. Now inside this chain space here, make a V-stitch. And then into the third double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Now we have the next fan, work a front post double crochet into the second double crochet, a V-stitch inside the chain space. And then a front post double crochet into the third double crochet. And this is all you're going to do here for each one of the fans. Now here to finish, go into the third chain and then you're going to turn and repeat this row that we just finished, the fourth row where we do fans. And that's all we're going to do, just continue and repeat these two rows. Now I'm going to continue like this until this part here from the waist here measures about eight inches or about 20 centimeters. So continue watching. I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. I'm here at the end of this 13th row. Here to finish, just go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Now this part here is done and this is how it looks. Now it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. And I have done a total of 13 rows here for this pattern. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Now my last row here is the row of fans. Make sure that you also end with the same row. So now I have the measurement that I need to continue and divide the legs. Now this measurement would be the rise, which is from the top of the waist down to the end of the last row. So that measurement should be for the three to six month size, about eight inches or 20 centimeters, which for me, I do have. Here we have a total of 22 
fans. We're going to mark two fans here for the back side. Then each leg is going to have nine fans. And for the front, we're going to have two fans. So that's two for the back, two for the front, and nine for each leg. So here to continue, turn. And we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet of this next fan, a front post slip stitch into the next double crochet. Now chain three and inside the chain space make a V stitch. Now chain one, we're going to skip nine fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the tenth fan, a front post double crochet into the second double crochet, V stitch inside the chain space, and front post double crochet into the third double crochet. Do the same thing for the next fan. Here are my two fans for the front. Now skip nine fans for the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into this tenth fan here for the back side. Make a front post double crochet. Oops. Chain one, and then work a front post double crochet into the second double crochet, a V stitch inside the chain space, and a front post double crochet. Now join to the beginning with a slip stitch. Now pass your yarn through this last loop, cut your yarn, make sure you leave a nice long tail because what we're going to do next after this, the legs are done, we're going to join here. You're going to join to the middle, then work these stitches here. So just go into each one of these double crochets and then weave your yarn back to this side and do the other side. So now we're going to turn, this part here is done and this is how it looks. We have two fans here for the back side, two fans for the front and on each side we have a one chain. If you want to add more chains here to give this a bit more room for the leg, you can. So here, to continue with the leg, this here is the back side, so I'm going to go here to the left side. And I'm going to go into this chain space here, and here I'm going to grab a loop, insert your hook into this chain space. Now this row is going to be worked from the wrong side out. So chain three here and make a fan here. So make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. There. Now I'm going to go into the next fan, which for me is this one here after the stitch marker. This is the first fan for the left leg out of the nine that we left. But there's one thing, if I go directly into this fan, and work my fan here, there's going to be a gap and I don't want that. So to avoid this, this is how I'm going to work this part here. I'm going to yarn over. We have this fan, which is the fan here that we did in the center. And at the end here into this double crochet space, insert your hook there and make a double crochet but don't close it leave two loops on the hook now go into the first fan here of the nine for the leg and work your front post double crochet and close through those two loops now into this fan make your v-stitch and then a front post double crochet now into each one of these fans, you just do the same thing. This is the second row of the pattern. So continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end. This is the ninth fan to show you how we're going to finish this first row.
I'm here at the end of this first row for the left leg. Now here's my last fan. Up to here I have 10 fans. Remember we added an extra fan here in the center where we had the chain. So now we have 10 fans for the leg. To finish this row here, I'm going to do the same thing I did here where I did this double crochet decrease to close that gap that's going to be left there. So to do this yarn over, we're going to go into this fan here for the center and here into this double crochet space, insert your hook, grab a loop, leave two loops on the hook. Now go into the third chain here and make a slip stitch where you close through these two loops as well. Now this part here is done. Now to continue with the second row, we just turn and here we just repeat the first row to the pattern, which is the row where we do fans inside the chain spaces. So to start you off here, make three slip stitches. One, two, and three. Now chain three, make a double crochet, one chain, two double crochets. And then into each chain space you do your fans. From here on, we're just going to be working these 10 fans all around. You know how the pattern goes already because you did it here. Now this part here should be measuring about for three to six months, which is the length of the leg. It should be about 6.5 inches, which is about 17 centimeters. I'm not going to make my leg that long with this pattern because at the end I'm going to do this here where I do front post and back post half double crochet. So I'm not sure how many rows that's going to be for me, but all we're doing here is just repeating these two rows for the leg where we only have 10 fans. So continue watching. I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the leg. So far I have done 12 rows. So from here up to here, there's 12 rows and it's measuring about 15 centimeters, which is about six inches. If you're making your pants uh, using the measurements in the information box, just leave about a half an inch uh, to do this last bottom part here. So to continue here, we're going to make three slip stitches. One, two, three. Chain two and into this same chain space here, make a half double crochet. Now in the middle between the fans, make one half double crochet. And then again, into the fan here, into the chain space, make two half double crochets. Then one, two, and one in between the fans. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this 13th row. I'm here at the end of this 13th row. I did half double crochets all around. I have 30 half double crochets. To finish, go here where we have the two chains right into the second chain, join with a slip stitch. Now I've cut my yarn, so pass your yarn through this last loop. I'm going to do the bottom part here in white. So I'm going to grab a loop here and right into the same stitch where I joined, grab a loop. chain one and now here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet so beginning here where we have these two chains work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on now this part here you can also do single crochets it also looks very nice you can just do um the row of half double crochets just like we did and then continue with either half double crochets or a single crochets and make, I don't know, four or five rows. Now I'm going to continue like this, just making front post and back post half double crochets all around. Now when I finish this row, I'm going to go right here, right where I have this chain join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. Front post, back post, front post, back post, all around. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here. I don't know, maybe three or four, but continue watching. I will let you know how many rows we're going to do here. So I will meet you at the end of that row. 
I finished making these rows of front post and back post half double crochets. In total, I did three rows, one, two, three, three rows in white, and then the row that we did in pink, that's a total of four rows here. So row 13, 14, 15, and 16. And this part here is done. Here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done, the little leg. This is how it looks. Now it's measuring exactly 17 centimeters, which is about six and a half inches. Now we're going to do the other side here. So this is the left side. We finished the left leg. Now we're going to make the right side. Um, again, this is the back side. So facing me, this will be the right side. And we're going to go right here, right in between the legs. We have these fans here two on this side, two on this side, right in the middle where we have this chain. This row we're going to work from the wrong side out. So here, insert your hook into this chain space, grab a loop here with pink, bring it through, chain three, and here we're going to make this extra fan. So the three chains and then make a double crochet, one chain, two double crochets. Turn this like this. We have the first fan here of the nine that we have for the leg, but I don't want a space here, so I'm going to go into this double crochet space of this fan here for the middle. So just insert your hook there. Now you can go into the space like this of the double crochet or go into these two stitches right there. Now grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go into the first fan here for the leg, and work a front post double crochet where you close through these three loops. And here is this part. Now you can also add another one here if you don't want a big gap there, but I think it's fine. Now inside the chain spaces, we make V stitches, and then into the next double crochet, a front post double crochet. And this is how you're going to continue for this first row for the right leg. There. Continue like this all around. Finish this first row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second leg here. I have my 10 fans here, but to finish here, I need to make that double crochet decrease. So yarn over, go into this double crochet space there or right into the stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops in the hook, go into the third chain here at the end and join with a slip stitch and close that stitch. And this row here is done. So now you're going to turn and from here on is exactly the same thing we did here for this first leg. So here work three slip stitches, then make three chains, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. It's the same thing we did here for this first row and then continue on exactly in the same way how we did the first leg and that's all we need to do here. So continue, finish this second leg and then I'll come back and show you the finished pants. I finished making the second leg. The little pants are all done and this is how they look. They are absolutely beautiful. They were very easy to make. Now here, I already sewed in the center part here, the crotch, and all you do is just join these two uh, sides together and then you just seam the center. And I didn't show you that because I am pretty sure that you can manage and do it yourself. Now here in the center along the waistband, I did a chain. This is just a long chain that I did. You can also use a satin ribbon. Here I did a total of 150 chains and I just weaved it all around. So the little pants are all done to match this little hoodie that I showed you already in my channel. If you want to see this tutorial, just click the little lamb next to my channel name. It'll take you to my main channel. You will find the tutorial there or in the the information box i'll go ahead and leave you the link to this video and i'll also leave the link to my etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern uh, to make this little set now remember these little pants are for three to six months size but you can make them from a newborn size baby and up to 24 months in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave you a standard size measurements so that you can make these pants in those sizes okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time